So Trolls World Tour is actually coming out April 17th. So I thought it'd be awesome if we made a pair of puppy ear, the puppy headpiece to wear into Universal. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun, and it's gonna look like we're wearing what we are puppy. <laughs> excited to have you guys here with me today. We are going to be making a pair of trolls poppy head piece thing. Oh god, what do I call it? <laughs> so we're going to be making uh, a trolls poppy head piece. Uh, it's going to be her giant hair um, that we're going to make out of some tuli. I don't know how you say that. Tule, tule. Um, some felt and a little bit of cloth for the actual headpiece itself. You guys will be experimenting with me today because I've actually never made this before. I've made a lot of Mickey ears before, but this one's a new one that I'm going to be making on the fly on camera with you guys. So yeah, should be fun. cut which we will use later for the head um, but there's a side there's a side and we are going to work on giving this uh, giving this like a nice little cover so it doesn't you know it doesn't clash and it looks all pretty and it, it matches uh, and it looks all poppy While my glue gun is heating up so I can make the actual headband, I am going to be making these flowers that we want to put on around uh, Poppy's hair. So I have my blue felt that I picked up from Joann's. I'm just going to sketch. And inevitably we might adjust it. We might have to cut it smaller or bigger once we get the thing out, but I'm gonna make one, cut it out. It'll be like our stencil for the others. And then once we actually get the hair together, we can have a better idea if this is gonna be the right size or not. As you can see, I'm not very precise in terms of, you know, I like take exact measurements or anything. I kind of, I do have a tendency to just eyeball things and I don't know see how things go and then make adjustments as I go along and this is probably actually why I always make sure I buy more than enough fabric because because my method is more trial and error um, there's a lot of error sometimes sometimes I'm lucky sometimes the first try is perfect when I was making my Mulan costume I made that whole costume um, twice almost basically that's okay we have our little a little puppy flower so we're just gonna need to make like three or, three or four more of these, I think. And in the meantime, our glue gun actually has heated up perfectly. This is just a glue, a glue gun. I don't know, I got for like 10 bucks or something on Amazon. I like to, this is just an older seat. I like to just put something underneath the glue gun so it's not dripping everywhere. Be careful, this thing is hot. Our headpiece strip that we did before and we're gonna get our headband. Basically, we're just gonna attach it together, um, just like, just like this.
decided to cut a little v-shape right here um, because I found that when you want to when you when you want to fold it in here when it's square shaped You get you end up getting too much extra cloth around it So I just once I once I know I have enough material to go around the headband I'll just come in here and I'll just I'll just cut a little a little bit of that excess material off that we don't need Just so we don't have quite as much And you can see I am doing a very kind of like a rough and messy job with this one picking but we have our little pink pink covered headband um so part of the reason why i actually normally i would take more care and i would probably put a layer of felt in between and then glue it on so we don't see um the the glue gun layer um, but the reason why i didn't is because we're going to cover all of this in tule anyway we're going to wrap it around and cover it so you will never see this what we're going to do is we're going to wrap all of our tule pieces and we're just gonna take the headpiece and we're going to tie it around and make a knot. A miserable material to work with because it just gets so floofy I can't see what I'm doing but this is this is our hair we have Poppy's hair um I did try it on a few times just to make sure that um, ultimately when we tie her hair up like this um, you have it starting and ending where you want it on the sides but yeah I think this is a respectable respectable troll head Head. The problem is it just keeps falling over and that's because it's too top heavy so we're gonna 
Um, do a little, do a little haircut. I'm actually pretty happy with where I have this tied. So to kind of secure it, I'm going to take my glue gun and take this strip that we did and we're just gonna glue it around here. And I hopefully cut enough to let it wrap around on the back side too. So. Kind of the effect that we're going for. Um, so from the back here, I'm just gonna fold these over so to hide the to hide the seam. I'm just going to do that. So I'm gonna cross them over a bit. And you can see it a little bit. It's fine. We're we'll, we'll cover it up with a flower. So and then now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna we're gonna grab this stuff and we're gonna put it around um, the inside of the band. Uh, so I'm gonna I like to kind of. Put a little layer of glue on the end of this so you can kind of like prevent it from um from fraying so i have to put a little bit of glue on the side over there so and i'm just going to take it and i'm going to glue this on the inside of this like so <laughs> Right now, we have, um, it's nicely, I don't know what the word is, but the inside is not ugly anymore. And now we just need to put some flowers on it and clean it up a bit. A little leaf, a few uh, like tiny leaves uh, to put around this. So I'm just gonna eyeball this and make a few leafy shapes. Just, just to kind of like put behind the petals so it looks like that. to the headpiece now. Okay, so now I also have these sequins. These sequins that I'm going to go ahead and we're just gonna put little ones on the inside of the, of the flower. So it comes in a lot of different sizes and we're just going to take the biggest one. Ears. Um, as you can see, I went ahead and I added um, some extra flowers around the top just to kind of hide the hair tie or the, the tie, yeah, the hair tie that I added there. I just thought it might add a nice little pop over there. Um, I added the one flower on the back to cover up the seam. And then I got these, um, like these little, um, obviously not diamonds, like little like sequiny, oh, I cannot hold that up, but little sequiny things um, just to kind of like a Add a little pop in the center of each flower, and uh, as you can see, we have our little our poppy. Yay! So yeah, I mean, I, I hope this was I hope this was helpful. I think it was um, a little convoluted. It was very just like trial and error. Try this, try that. Um, the next pair I make, I definitely kind of have a better sense of how to go around this. But I hope this was helpful uh, to anyone out there who wants to try their hand at making a pair of poppy headbands <laughs> anyway so um if you, if this video was helpful at all please like please subscribe and yeah i'll come back to you with some more awesome content soon i hope <laughs> lol i'll see you guys later <sighs>